Hello and welcome to Photo Education Online. I'm Larry Lurcy and today I'm going to talk to you about clipping masks and how you can use them in Photoshop to do a whole bunch of different effects to images and we're going to kind of use them two different ways to kind of show you the versatility of this tool. Now what we're going to work on first is we're going to take this shot here and try and recreate this where basically we've taken the guy and put, put him inside the computer. Okay. And, you know, certainly we could just take this shot, uh, erase the center right here, and then put something on a layer in behind it. And that would work too, but it wouldn't give us the versatility that we're going to have with the clipping mask. So what we're going to do, we'll keep this up here so we can just keep an eye on it. We're going to start with these two images starting here with the screen. The first thing I've got to do is select the screen area here. Now this is going to be really easy because it's white. So I'm just going to pick the magic wand tool here, click in the center. See it's uh, selected that center area there. Now what I'm going to do is I need to take a, make a copy of that screen basically. I'm going to do that by holding down command or control and hitting the letter J. And as you can see here on my layer palette, this top layer is just a screen. I'll even go ahead and rename it screen so we'll know what that is. All that is is the white screen. Okay. Uh, this screen here is what we're going to actually clip onto. And so it's important that it's on a separate layer. Next we're going to take our uh, insert image right here and I'm going to drag it up into the frame. So you can see now just to make sure we're all on the same page, top layer, let me turn them all off, top layer is just this picture, middle one is the screen, bottom is that basic image. Let's turn them back on. Now it's important that the image that you're clipping, the one that's being clipped to something, is above the one that it's being clipped to. And because I'm clipping it to the screen here, I've got it right above the screen level. So I'm going to put it right there. Then what you're going to hit is Command Option G to clip it. You, you would also do Control Alt G. And that will make us a clipping mask. And the cool thing about it is now I can move this around. And let me turn off this bottom layer so you can see what it is we're doing. And all it is showing is the area that is on top of that clipping mask area and I can make this smaller, I can enlarge it, whatever I want to do, move it around and I've got that flexibility to come back and do that because I've got that sitting underneath that layer. And what this will do is allow me to, once I get that set up, and let's say that I'm sure that I don't want to change it, that's exactly how that guy's supposed to be in the screen. If I really want to I can merge it down, I just highlight that top layer and I do uh, Command E or Control E and that will combine them into two and now I've just got the inserted guy on, an, on its own screen but as you can see you lose a little bit of the flexibility because if I went back now and decided that uh, it was zoomed in too tightly or I wanted him to be moved around a little bit I, I wouldn't have that flexibility so generally I'm gonna leave that clipping mask alone so that's kinda quickly how it works let me show you another way let me Clear this guy out of the way. Okay, we've got a new uh, file loaded up here, and I'm going to show you this time how to clip to text instead of clipping to like the screen, like we did uh, just a second ago. Now, this is how I will use the tool uh, most most of the time because I like the look that it gives. Um, and let me show you what I'm talking about. First thing I would do is come over here and click on the text tool in here and I'm just going to add add a name and we can move it around wherever we want it to go and, and it looks okay but you can see that it, it doesn't really blend in with the shot it's just sitting on top there and I'm, I'm not crazy about how that looks so what we're going to do is we're going to clip to uh, this text here's how it's going to work going to take our, our basic image and copy it drag down here to copy so now you can see we've got two identical copies of the same layer. 
And if you remember, the one you're going to clip has to be on top. So we're going to move that up top. So now we are set up to clip this image to the text. I know it's kind of confusing, but uh, stick around and watch what happens. Okay, now what I have to do is I'm going to make this look a little bit different. I'm going to do that in layers. I'm going to pull up my, uh, my layers, uh, Command L or con Control L. And I'm just going to lighten this a little bit. Maybe bring up the middle a little bit. Whatever I have to do just to give it a much more washed out light look. Hit OK. So now you can see I've got, if you look here on the palette, I'm, I've got a lighter version and a darker version down below. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip this lighter version to the text by doing Command Option G or Control Alt G. And there you can see it is clipped to the letters. Now here's the cool part. If I make sure I've got the, the text highlighted here, I can move it around and you'll see you're still seeing through it. You're seeing the actual layer showing through, um, but it's much lighter. It's not going to look good there on the skin. But we can move it around and it's going to incorporate more in our design. I can even kind of trick it up a little bit. I can take this text layer here and uh, go to FX and maybe add a drop shadow. Something like that. So now we've got the name coming through, but uh, it's much more blending into the design. And I can move it around and put it wherever I want and decide that I want it up here or dead center. Whatever I want, I've got options. If I decide, you know what, I want to go back to this top layer do Command uh, L again, bring up those layers, you can make it even lighter. Whatever I need to do to change it around. Oops. Grab that text. I can move it around however I want. And so now I'm I'm adding that text, but without it being a distraction. I can even go in and um, do a Command T transform. Make it bigger. Whatever I want, it's still going to have the same image underneath it. So it's kind of a cool way of going back and adding a name or uh, some sort of text to an image without it just sitting on top of the layer. So that's a couple of ways you can use uh, the clipping masks. So I hope you'll try it out and uh, try and find some other uses for it. It's one of those things you don't use all the time. It's not like cloning or some of those other tools. But when you do need to use it, it's a really handy tool. So uh, give it a shot and uh, see what you think and let me know. Be sure and check back for more tutorials. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.